Well, from chicken pox to COVID, there's a vaccine for that. But have you ever heard of one that could help fight the U.S.'s opioid epidemic? In tonight's special report, Elizabeth Matthews finds out more about a possible vaccine against fentanyl. So far, the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office has logged nearly 2,000 opioid overdose deaths for 2022, many of them occurring because a deadly dose of fentanyl was mixed in. And we need a different strategy uh, to address this. Medical researchers at the University of Houston are working on a way to stem the tide of the nation's opioid epidemic, one that would stop fentanyl in its tracks. Some have called it a game changer, and we, we do think it is a game changer. For the last six years, Dr. Colin Hale and his team have been working on what they call a fentanyl vaccine. It includes proteins from two other inoculations already on the market. Our vaccine produces antibodies against the chemical, and that chemical is fentanyl. So in a vaccinated individual, if they consume fentanyl, those antibodies will bind to the drug and prevent it from getting into the brain. The National Institute on Drug Abuse is consulting with Dr. Hale and his team on the project and says it could help addicts stop using because it stops them from feeling high. Because it's a large molecule, it actually cannot cross between our circulation into the brain tissue itself. And so you, you, you're essentially sequestering fentanyl in the circulation. That's why Hale also calls this vaccine a relapse prevention agent. So the idea is that individuals with opioid use disorder will go to detox and then in addition to their maintenance therapy, such as buprenorphine, methadone or naltrexone, they will also get the vaccine. The relapse rate among opioid users is estimated at 80 to 90 percent. I think relapse is uh, more common than it is not for, for sure. Uh, you know, a lot of times people call relapse the 13th step. Right. It is uh, so common that they almost assign it a step in the 12 step programs. Alex Matheson knows this firsthand. In addition to being the program director at Live for Lolly, he's also in long term recovery from an IV heroin use disorder. Oh, man. <laughs> recovery is probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Um, you know, opioids, opioids are a beast. They really are. Uh, for those of us that struggle with them, they truly are. While some are calling Hale's research okay, a game changer, cool. drug prevention groups like Live for Lolly say there needs to be more than just a vaccine to break the cycle of addiction. Like with this vaccination, the ability to absorb fentanyl by the brain would be essentially eliminated. But the feeling that drives why that is happening hasn't gone anywhere. And that can manifest in a lot of different ways. A lot of us chose to use for very specific reasons. And I really strongly in my heart believe that that is the only way that we can get people out of the cycle of addiction is by providing comprehensive, non-judgmental care. The fentanyl vaccine is taken in a series of three shots over a period of time. It only works with fentanyl because it's a synthetic drug, which means it's ineffective against all opioids like heroin. It may have more than one use. Hale says he's also been contacted by concerned parents looking to protect their kids from being exposed to fentanyl. Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.